everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I have a Zara and Pull and Bear haul. Here in the UK, we're in a third lockdown and we currently don't know when it's going to be lifted. So sometimes the little things like online shopping just bring me a little bit of joy. I have actually been really good at not buying too much clothing this year so far. I'm definitely not gonna keep everything in this haul, but I just wanted to share them all with you and try them on and show you what's new in at the moment. This blouse is also kind of new, so I will link it down below if you're interested. It's from and other stories, but I got it in the sale, so hopefully it's still in the sale and you can check it out. I'm gonna start with Zara, and the first thing I found was this striped jumper with a zip detailing at the collar. I really love jumpers that have a zip at the front, but aren't like a full on cardigan. I feel like it looks really casual and you can put something nice underneath and it shows through like a really white t-shirt or shirt under this would look nice. And it's got really wide sleeves. And at the end of the sleeves, it's kind of got a little detail, which is really nice. You guys know I love my stripes. Um, <laughs> so I'm excited to try this on. It's in sort of like an oatmeal color with a navy blue stripe. Yeah, I thought that was really pretty. And this was, 30 pounds. So that's the first one. I may as well get the other striped jumper out the way. Um, this one was the same price and I got this in a medium. I think I picked both of them up in a medium because when things are oversized, I like them to be quite oversized on me. So this one is just a round neck, simple plain knit with a bit of a chunkier stripe going through it. And the sleeves are just wide all the way down, straight sleeves. I don't have many jumpers with straight sleeves. And I'm not sure if I'm going to like this on, but I thought I'll try both of them, see which one I prefer, or if I even like either of them. This next one was a little bit of a random purchase, <laughs> and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this, but I just have visions of it in spring and summer, and I just think it would be so cute, but we'll see. It might be too see-through. So it's a set, but you buy them separately. So if you like either of these bits, then you can buy them on their own. So the first item is this high neck cable knit dress, which is coming up very white on the camera, but it's quite a yellowy cream. And then to match it, it has this really cute little cardigan. I'm such a sucker for like dress and cardigan duos. I don't know why. I thought I'd try it on, give it a go. Something fun to do in lockdown. <laughs> It was on the more expensive side, both items individually are 20 pounds, but I thought if I can see myself wearing it a lot, then I will keep it because I just think it's so sweet. I can see it styled with like some really dainty, maybe tiny heeled sandals and a little like 90s style bag. I just think that would look really cute. Next up, we have a very cool pair of jeans. These are pretty wide legged and they have this blue and yellow floral pattern on them. And just like stripes, I am a sucker for anything ditzy floral print. <laughs> but I just thought these were a bit of me, so I had to try these. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna love how wide the legs are because they're pretty wide um, at the bottom, but they kind of looked like they go out into a bit of a kick flare sort of style. Um, and these were 30 pounds. I just went for my usual size eight in these i do find i'm now between like an eight and a ten in zara um depending on the stiffness of the denim if it looks pretty stiff then i go up a size um but this didn't look too stiff so this is the only thing i've tried on so far and they do fit really good the denim boiler suit hunt is still on i feel like i tried this last year and i still I'm looking for the perfect blue denim boiler suit. Um, I think I might be quite close to this one. So I love how classic the top is. Nothing too fancy going on with this. And then the jeans are just straight leg style with some rips at the knee. So yeah, I'm very excited to try this on. This was 50 pounds, um, but if it works, then I'm gonna be a very happy bunny. But we'll have to see. I picked this up in a small. Definitely don't think I'd need to go for an extra small in this. I've just noticed something so cool about this dress that I, this is a big moment. This, ah. so this is a knitted dress and I actually saw someone wearing this on Instagram this morning and 
it looks so good on her. It's just a pretty mini um, knitted dress, super soft. And I just read on the tag that it says bra strap. And when I worked at Amelia Wickstead, her dresses used to have these little tags here, which you clip around your bra strap so it doesn't like come out and show like on next to the dress. And I am just can't believe like a high street brand has done this now. This is such a great little feature to have on a dress, especially when it's like square neck like this. <sighs> little things like this just make me so happy. And then Zara have brought back out my favorite jumper at the moment, which is this high neck, super soft jumper. And it comes down to a really nice length on me. A lot of their jumpers are so cropped at the moment, but this actually comes down nice and long enough to sit just on top of your jeans and it keeps you so cozy. So it is being sold for $27.99 and they've actually bought them out in a few different colors, but it must've sold pretty well. Well, they did sell really well because they were always out of stock. Every time I put this on in the morning, I just feel like I look so put together and just, nice and polished because it's super white and they also bought it out in this new dusky pink colour. Um, I had a jumper in this colour years ago and I loved it. Not sure if I need this one but I just thought the colour was really pretty and I'll give it a go, see how it looks. Another jumper, this one was $25.99. Actually I'm not sure if this one was in the sale, I think it might have been in the sale. Um, but it's just this sort of oatmeal slightly chunky looking knit um, and this is in a cropped style so this one I'd have to wear high-waisted jeans with which is fine because that's what I wear most of the time. I sort of had a really nice neckline and it's super simple. I love knitted items like this. They just go with everything. I often have to be careful with oatmeal-y grey colours. This one looks like it'll be okay but when it goes into more of a grey oatmeal that's when I really look dead. So that's everything from Zara and then I picked up a few things on Pull and Bear. First one being this chenille <laughs> tracksuit. So this is the top part of the tracksuit and then the bottom half has super wide legs, um, not too long so they're definitely not dragging along the ground on me um, which is kind of nice, but also it would have been nice if they are a tiny bit longer, I think. But I've been living in loungewear, so I thought I'm going to try them out. And they had quite a few colours in this set. I also picked up the green. So this is the green, these are the joggers, and then the top is the same as the blue one. I did pick these up in an extra small and a small just to try them out because I often find knitted trousers can be quite baggy and saggy. <laughs> It's not a good look. But let me just show you the extra small quickly um, because I don't think I would fit into that. <laughs> They're so tiny and um, yeah, so if you're super tiny, then you'll fit the extra small, but um, the small was definitely tight enough. I also picked up these granddad style trousers, um, but I'm not sure how much I'm going to like these and if they're gonna fit very nicely. They're in quite a lightweight fabric, um, but we'll see when I try them on, if they are any good at all. <laughs> so there you have it, that is the end of the haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below which item was your favorite, and if you've picked up anything recently that you love, I'd love to hear about it. I'm sorry I've been a bit MIA recently, um, but that's just lockdown. My motivation is very slim at the moment, but I have been working on some new projects for my website. So hopefully I'll be able to share those with you soon. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.